I've got my charge point charge pass here. I just tap it to the front. It's authorizing me as a user. USF is plugging into the future with the installation of a pair of electric vehicle charging stations. Plug it in, it clicks. I get an amber light on the dash to let me know that it's going through its diagnostic. And a chirp and a green light lets me know that I'm charging. The university is the latest member of the ChargePoint network, which has installed over 170 of these stations in central Florida. It's important to um, create a heightened sense of environmental awareness in the community. And the university has been pursuing a number of initiatives um, with uh, regard to electricity in particular. USF also installed the stations in an effort to get more people to buy electric vehicles. Some who snub EVs cite range anxiety or concerns about the availability of charging opportunities. So we've gone ahead and taken the lead and put in a few to handle the current demand that we have on campus and then we expect it to grow and add additional stations in the future. The stations, which were purchased through a grant from ChargePoint America, are free to users as long as they have a valid USF parking permit. And with charging a fully depleted battery costing between $1.50 and $3 a charge, the cost savings on gasoline are another plus. Somebody driving about 12,000 miles a year would see a savings of about $1,300 on fuel, saying that the car gets about 27 miles to the gallon. For University Beat, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information about this University Beat or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.